What's up, homies? Today we are going to take a look at the Outlier 3 from Offset Yo-Yo's and Brandon View. Let's check it out. All right, guys. So check it out. Here is the box. Pretty nice. Pretty sleek. Um, Offset Yo-Yo. Cool logo, I must say, for the company. Oh, hell yeah. I didn't even know what color I was getting. But this is freaking sick. Look at this. The Outlier 3. So once again, this is the signature yo-yo of Brandon View. I really like this colorway. I like how it's like, I don't know, it's like a champagne, you know? It's like the silver on the gold or brass, whatever you want to call it. Looks really nice. I like how it's just like a slight color difference. There's tons of cuts, as you can see in here. Like a shitload of them. Hell yeah, so shiny. But still feels like... You know, you'll be able to grind and everything with it, no problem. Also comes with some polyester string of some kind. I believe he's a concave bearing. We'll put the specs there. It's around 64 grams, I believe, like 64.3 or something, whatever I put on the screen. The bearing feels really nice. It is a concave bearing opposed to a center track bearing. I like them both. I don't really have a preference. I mean, if it spins, I'm cool with it. Uh... Everything looks pretty standard, though. It is a 6061 aluminum with stainless steel, obviously. But yeah, just a really nice shape. Um, looks like it's, you know, it's kind of kind of angular, but not too angular. You know, kind of the right, kind of what you want, right diameter. Um, here's it next to the Graviton by Yo-Yo Friends. Just because I had one right next to me. Little, slightly smaller diameter. Slightly smaller height. Uh, what else do I got on the table here? Any other areas? No, that's all I got right here. But anyways, yeah, has a really, really, really sleek look. I must say though, like it looks elegant. If I had to put in one word, that would probably be the word I'd use. Elegant. Okay, so let's throw a string on it and uh, let's have some fun. All right, homies, we are all strung up here, and let's start it off with the good old DNA. Um, being Brandon Views Yo-Yo, um, definitely something you'd expect it to be good at. Uh, and actually, this one's surprisingly really well. I was kind of worried with this shiny finish, it'd be too sticky. But first off, this finish is actually still pretty good at grinds, uh, as you can see here. You know, grinds no problem, whatever type of grind you're trying to do. And also, too, because this little nub, like, sticks out, you know? I kind of thought it might get in the way, but actually your fingernail rests on it perfectly and it's it's angled down so yeah it actually works surprisingly really well for finger spins so for finger spins dna's um you know of course it's going to work um and this shiny finish i can really appreciate this um because i don't know i don't know if it's just me but the way the light reflects off of it makes my eyes track it a little better i think um and that's i don't know maybe it's because i have all these studio lights in front of me so there's a lot of light shining off of it but I don't know. I feel like it's uh, perfect. And if you're a competition player, having a shiny yo-yo will make it easier for the judges, you know, inspectors. See, it'll just like look cooler too, probably. Um, but yeah, for being only 63 grams, um, this yo-yo is still really, really long spinning. Um, being this big, beefy ass, you know, rim it has of stainless steel, um, it definitely really helps. But yeah, super fast and nimble. Like, this is one of those yo-yos that, like, you don't even try to play fast. It just, like, you know, it'll pick up. And, and response is really good out of the box, too, as well. Yeah, very easy to, like, hit everything. It's, like, I don't know, for me, at least, perfect size. Totally, totally perfect size. Yeah, it's super fun. Yeah, can't go wrong. <laughs> yeah, and then because it's angular too, for those little regens where you change the directions and everything, uh, it's absolutely incredible. Definitely check out Brandon's video. I'll put it down below. I mean, he's a better player than me. And he's, you know, it's his freaking yo-yo. You should get, get the word straight from the horse's mouth. But for, for being an unbiased third party, I mean, this thing is, this thing is incredible. Also too, I think it plays way above 
not only its weight class, like it feels, it feels heavier in the right ways, not like in the, like it doesn't feel slow or anything, but it carries momentum and it's stable, like a yo-yo would expect to be like in the 65, 66 grams, but it still plays like super fast and feels light at the same time, um, if that makes any sense. But also too, in its price category, before I started filming this, like I just wanted to like get some general info on yo-yo, you know? So I went on wherever and uh, offsetyoyo.com or whatever. And I checked it out and I was expecting this yo-yo, oh shit. I was expecting this yo-yo to be like, I don't know, like 200 bucks. It's only 110 bucks. So I think for that price, this is a really freaking good yo-yo. Um, this is my first yo-yo I've tried from offset yo-yos, but I really, really dig it a lot. Um, that's for sure. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, super forgiving too. A couple times I was hitting my fingers and stuff and the yo-yo just kept on spinning. I think from a competition standpoint, this is really as good as it gets. Um, for the $100 price range, this is up there with anything else. There's no, I mean, this is really as good as it gets. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Brandon. Um, great to see, you know, he's killing it here on YouTube, killing it on TikTok. Put all his info down below. Make sure to follow him and check out Offset Yo-Yo's, the new Outlier 3. Um, get it while you can. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later.